the first video for the maxi wrap dress. Today we'll be going over how to measure and cut your fabric so that it fits and flatters all of your curves and doesn't hike up in the back. Stay tuned. To achieve the look and the sketch, we'll be using Vogue Pattern V8646. Here's what you need to get started. The Vogue Pattern, Pattern Craft Paper, Ruler, Scotch Tape, Tailor's Chalk, Pencils, Scissors, Measuring Tape, The Measurement Guide, and the Pocket Pattern included in the free download. The measurements you need are indicated on the free measurement guide download which you can get at the link below. In this pattern, based on the waist and the bust measurement, there's about four and a quarter inches of ease. So bear that in mind when choosing your size. For example, on a size 18, the waist is 32 plus four and a quarter equals 36 and a quarter finished waist. To determine your cup size, measure your bust at the widest point, then measure the high bust. The difference will tell you what pattern piece to cut out based on the cup size chart. Choose a bodice front piece to cut out based on the cup size chart and then you can cut out the rest of your pattern. Now that your pattern is cut, you go to the front bodice and mark where the seam allowance will be. Using your front slope measurement, make a line at center front. Measure from that point to the waistline. That is how much you're going to shorten or lengthen the bodice. Using that measurement, you're going to mark at center front, then draw a parallel line from the edge. Then you reattach the part you cut off. Make sure that you match the center front line. Draw a line from the armhole to the waistline and cut off any excess. Pattern a craft paper to the center front to redraw the neckline. Extend the center front line onto the pattern paper, then draw a perpendicular line from the shoulder point at the armhole to the center front. Mark the bust point on the neckline and then draw a line to attach the waistline to that point. Now we're just blending the neckline, adding seam allowance, the 5 8 seam allowance, and then cutting out your pattern. Just tape everything up so everything lays flat, so the pattern lays flat when you fold it. Now we're going to do the same thing for the back. Because the dart was moved, we have to redo the legs from the apex. And then we're going to chew up the dart to make sure that it matches the bottom. Because we are adding length to the dress, we want it to fit on a 60 inch wide fabric. We are removing some of the fullness on the pattern because we will gain it once we add length to the skirt. What I'm doing here is the folding method. I marked the middle of the bottom and the top. I added two inches on either side at the hem and I folded it to remove the fullness. On the front, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm using a slashing method. So I cut it instead of folding it. Just bear in mind to not add any folds at the waistline. You want it to stay the same, the measurement to stay the same. Now you can only cut everything out. If you're using two fabrics like I am, one for the bodice and one for the skirt, you cut the bodice out, the back on the fold. Just bear in mind to um, mark all of your darts, the apex and the legs, so you know where to sew. Using a pen to go through the fabric, I'm marking the dart apex on the sleeve so I know where to sew.
on the back there are two darts one on the neckline and one at the waistline <clears throat> excuse me so you have to mark both using a pen you can mark the apex and make sure to mark on the wrong side of the fabric To know how much length you have to add to your skirt, you have to get the back length measurement from your pattern sleeve, then subtract that from your full back length measurement that you took from of yourself. That will give you the amount to add to the back of the skirt. So the formula will look like this. So I have to add 19 inches to the center back. For the front skirt, follow these formulas. Everything is online at my website, Zahia.com. Just follow the link below. That's how much I'm adding to the skirts. So here I'm adding 19 to the back and 17 and a half to the side seam. And I'm blending the hem. And on the front, I'll add 16 to the center front and 17 and a half to the side seam. And I'll blend it then cut everything out. To add pockets, you can download that at the link below, and you have to cut out four of them. And if you look on the sketch, there's a bias binding at the center front, and this is how you do it. You have to cut two two inch strips for the full length of your center front neckline. Here's what we covered in this video. Where and how to take your measurements, what size to cut based on your measurements, how to adjust your bodice pattern, how to add length to your skirt pattern, and adding the additional pockets and neckline detail. You can find further instruction and download the pocket and measurement guide by clicking on the link below this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.